four manipulation tactics used by detectives. Number one, when interrogating a suspect, detectives often use the read technique. This is a nine-step process that involves isolating the suspect, confronting them with evidence, real or fake, minimizing their moral responsibility, and offering them incentives to confess. The suspect may feel pressured and hopeless and confess to the crime, even if they are innocent. Number two, detectives may also use the false friend technique to gain the trust of the suspect. This involves pretending to be sympathetic, friendly, or helpful to the suspect, and acting as if they are on their side. The suspect may feel more comfortable and open up to the detective, revealing information that can can be used against them. Number three, another manipulation tactic used by detectives is the Socratic method. This involves asking the suspect a series of questions that are designed to expose the flaws or contradictions in their story. The suspect may get confused or frustrated and admit their lie or confess to the truth. Number four, finally, detectives may use the good cop, bad cop technique to manipulate the suspect's emotions. This involves one detective acting friendly and supportive, while the other acts hostile and aggressive. The suspect may feel more inclined to cooperate with the good cop and confess their crime, hoping to avoid the bad cop's wrath.